All right, guys, this is a small little video to kind of show you the difference between a grade A battery and a grade B and a, a grade garbage. <laughs> it should be called grade G. So um, we're, we're testing batteries, and uh, this is a lab-grade DC electronic load. So this can give us really good information on how the battery actually performs. We can actually discharge the batteries entirely and, and set cutoffs and stuff. And we've got two of them. A uh, fairly expensive piece of hardware. This thing will run you about uh, around four four grand or so, depending on where you get it from. But um, it, it can test. So you've seen these EVE cells and not all EVE cells are created equal. Um, we, we are testing every, I'm testing every single uh, cell that we're going to have and uh, the ones that pass pass and the ones that don't pass we don't uh, we just simply reject so the ones that pass we put our logo on there the ones that don't pass we just kind of not so um, here's a uh, cell it's connected heavy duty cables uh, Anderson 175 amp 2 gauge wire should be good for 150 amps we're going to put a 250 watt load on that battery now this is a constant load of 250 watts so the voltage may go down if the voltage goes down the amperage will go up so let's see what happens on a cell that we know is good i'm going to start it as you can see under load it's about drawing 91 amps and the cell's holding about 2.7 amps which is okay i mean this battery wasn't fully fully charged but it's enough to make sure that the cell can survive under load. So that's that's what we want to see. All right, and we can run the whole charge cycle on it, but we're not, you know, as you can see, once it started to kind of get going, the volt, the the battery as it warms up a little bit, the voltage kind of bounces back up, and it's going to pretty much kick ass all the way. So we know the cell's good. We can see the IR on it, and all this other stuff, and under load, eh, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop it. So once we stop it, we see the voltage kind of normalize, and it's within range. So this is a good cell, good voltage. Uh, the IR was decent, you know, good to go. It's, it's something that, you know, we would, we would sell. Um, now let's check uh, another cell, and I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, but mind you, these are from the same supplier. So I'm not going to name the supplier but it's from the same exact supplier so when we get a in batches of batteries you know thousands of batteries at a time um you can expect about 15 percent of them just do not meet the requirements now this is another battery it's connected and voltage is read, reading nice and normally when you see a lot of these vendors, when they show you pictures, that's all they do is they put a voltmeter on there and say, look, everything is fine. Everything is wonderful. So we're going to put a very conservative 250 watt load, which is uh, about 0.27 C. Okay. So it should have no problem doing that. All right. I'm going to run it. And look at that. 200 something amps voltage down to 1.0 volts yeah this battery would basically puff up and pancake and yeah you don't want to run this so 0.05 so turn that off and as soon as you turn it off look how the voltage just magically goes back up as if nothing is going on so if you just look at the voltage readings on these things you're being completely misled and if you get a battery pack with one of these in there, you're going to be, you know, wondering why you're not getting any power. So, um, so what, I mean, is this cell something you got to throw away? No, not necessarily. I mean, if you are only drawing like a 100 watt or let's say a 150, well, I'll give it the best. Up. Let's say we're doing a 125 watt load. All right. 125 watt load, maybe... If you got four of these and you're drawing like 400, 500 watts, something very, very low, let's let's see what it happens in that scenario. So this will be less. Let's see how many amps we're drawing then. So run it. Not too bad at half the load of what the other thing is, 
it is better. So this is what is what we consider what we call grade B. It is not meeting manufacturer spec, but on a low draw situation where maybe you're only drawing a combined, you know, 500 watts on your battery, you could probably be okay with this. Now, again, we don't know how long it's going to last, but it, it's, it's something that can, you can, you know, can use on a low draw situation and it, it is holding it. So, um, basically what it comes down to, don't look at the voltage. You actually need to have some lab grade equipment to run actual tests and it will tell you what the real situation is. And the IR is almost twice what the, what the other one was. So that is something you, you just need to consider uh, in doing that. And like I said, these cells are from the same exact supplier. I would say about 80% of the supply was good, 20% questionable. And well, I would say 10% questionable and maybe about 15% and 5% would, they were just garbage. So uh, we're not going to name the supplier obviously, but, um, you know, I just want to let you guys know that, uh, just because the voltage says one thing doesn't necessarily mean the battery is what it is, unless you actually put a load on it. And these are conservative loads. 125 Watts is nothing for a 900 watt battery. So you actually have to put a load on each cell to determine if that cell is good or not. And that type of testing, I can assure you, is not done by a lot of these sellers you see on Alibaba and some of these other websites. So um, you want to make sure that whoever you're dealing with has actually tested each individual cell. It doesn't take long. It takes about four or five minutes to do it per cell, like our, our little rig right here. Is, is very simple to do but it very quickly can tell you if that cell is a good cell or it's a poo poo cell and um some of these cells you're getting for bargain base you know like super cheap prices you 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 are really getting something that's inferior that's just being camouflaged and uh you know it, it's something that you just need to be look, aware of and and uh unfortunately you some will require some high end equipment to really uh, determine that. Uh, you can't really do a hair dryer test when it's this low voltage, so uh, that is something all to consider.